Surface Mining Surface mining is a method of extracting minerals and ores from the Earth's surface, as opposed to underground mining, which requires digging below the surface. This method is widely used when mineral deposits are located close to the surface, making it an economical and efficient way to recover valuable resources. Surface mining is commonly employed to extract coal, iron ore, gold, copper, limestone, and other industrial minerals. Types of Surface Mining There are several types of surface mining, each suited to specific conditions and resources. Open Pit Mining Open pit mining involves the removal of large quantities of overburden, the soil and rock covering the mineral deposit, to access the ore beneath. This technique is used for materials like coal, copper, and gold. Open pits are typically created in a step-like formation, allowing for safe and efficient removal of materials. Strip Mining Strip mining is often used for extracting coal and other minerals located in horizontal layers close to the surface. In this method, the overburden is removed in long strips, and the mineral deposit is excavated. The area is then backfilled with the removed overburden once mining is complete. Quarrying Quarrying is used to extract building materials like limestone, granite, and marble. It involves cutting or blasting into a rock formation to remove large blocks or slabs of stone. Mountaintop Removal Mining This controversial method is used primarily for coal mining in mountainous regions. It involves blasting the tops of mountains to expose coal seams beneath, often leading to significant environmental and ecological impacts. Placer Mining Although technically a surface mining method, Placer mining focuses on extracting valuable minerals from alluvial deposits in riverbeds, sandbanks, or other sedimentary environments. Gold is a common target for placer mining. Advantages of surface mining Cost-effective, surface mining is generally less expensive than underground mining due to lower labor and equipment costs. Higher recovery rates since the entire mineral deposit is exposed, surface mining typically achieves higher recovery rates. Faster operations, the process is faster compared to underground mining, enabling quicker access to the resource. Disadvantages of surface mining Environmental impact, surface mining significantly alters landscapes, often leading to habitat destruction, deforestation, and soil erosion. Pollution the process generates dust, noise, and water pollution, affecting nearby ecosystems and communities. Finite resource depletion Once a surface mine is depleted, the land may take decades or centuries to recover fully. Reclamation and Rehabilitation After surface mining operations are complete, the land must undergo reclamation to restore its ecological balance. Reclamation involves regrading the land replacing topsoil, and planting vegetation. In some cases, old mines are repurposed for recreational use, wildlife habitats, or even solar farms. Surface mining plays a critical role in providing the raw materials necessary for modern infrastructure and technology. However, it also poses significant challenges in terms of environmental conservation and sustainable resource management. Balancing the economic benefits with ecological responsibilities is key to ensuring the long-term viability of this mining method. Surface Mining Methods Surface mining encompasses several methods used to extract minerals and ores that are close to the Earth's surface. Each method has its unique techniques, applications, and impacts. Below is a detailed exploration of the main surface mining methods and their uses. 1. Open Pit Mining Open Pit Mining, also known as Open Cast or Open Cut Mining, is one of the most widely used surface mining methods. Process Open Pit Mining begins with the removal of overburden, the soil and rock covering the mineral deposit. The pit is designed in a series of concentric steps or benches to allow for safe access and efficient extraction of materials. Heavy machinery, such as excavators, bulldozers, and haul trucks, is used to remove the ore and transport it for processing. Applications 
This method is commonly used for extracting metal ores, e.g., copper, gold, iron, and uranium. Nonmetallic minerals, e.g., limestone, clay, and granite. Advantages High recovery rate, as all ore deposits are accessible. Relatively low cost compared to underground mining. Disadvantages Significant environmental impact, including habitat destruction and visual scarring of landscapes. Large quantities of waste rock generated. 2. Strip mining. Strip mining is primarily used for resources found in horizontal layers or seams, such as coal and lignite. Process. Overburden is removed in long strips or trenches using draglines or large earth-moving equipment. The exposed mineral layer is then extracted. Once mining is complete in a strip, the area is backfilled with the removed overburden, and a new strip is started. Applications Commonly used for coal, phosphate, and tar sands. Advantages Suitable for flat terrains with shallow deposits. Easier to reclaim land compared to some other mining methods. Disadvantages Limited to resources near the surface. Significant disturbance to topsoil and vegetation. 3. Quarrying. Quarrying is used to extract building materials such as stone, sand, and gravel. Process. The surface layer of soil is removed to expose rock formations. Techniques such as drilling, blasting, cutting, or chiseling are employed to extract large blocks or slabs of material. Applications Limestone, marble, granite, sandstone, and slate are commonly extracted through quarrying. Also used for aggregates in construction and road building. Advantages Provides essential materials for construction industries. Usually involves smaller scale operations compared to other mining methods. Disadvantages Often leaves behind large pits that may become water-filled and pose safety risks. Dust and noise pollution in surrounding areas. 4. Mountaintop Removal Mining Mountaintop removal mining is a highly mechanized and controversial method used for extracting coal in mountainous areas. Process The tops of mountains are blasted away using explosives to expose coal seams beneath. The overburden is either dumped into nearby valleys, valley fills, or relocated within the site. Heavy machinery is used to extract the coal. Applications Primarily used for coal mining in regions such as Appalachia in the United States. Advantages Provides access to coal seems that would be difficult or costly to mine through other methods. Disadvantages Causes severe environmental damage, including deforestation, loss of biodiversity, and water contamination. Disrupts local communities and ecosystems. 5. Placer mining. Placer mining is used to extract valuable minerals from loose sediments, typically in riverbeds, beaches, or alluvial plains. Process. Sediment is washed or dredged to separate valuable materials like gold, tin, or gemstones from the lighter materials. Techniques include panning, sluicing, and dredging. Applications Historically used during gold rushes. Still used today for extracting gold, diamonds, and platinum from river deposits. Advantages Minimal use of explosives or heavy machinery. Effective for small-scale and artisanal mining operations. Disadvantages often inefficient for large-scale mining. Can lead to sedimentation in rivers and damage aquatic ecosystems. 6. Highwall Mining Highwall mining is a hybrid between surface and underground mining, used when the overburden is too thick for strip mining but the ore is still close to the surface. Process A continuous miner is remotely operated to extract coal or other materials along the high wall the exposed vertical face of a coal seam. Conveyor systems transport the extracted material to the surface. Applications Commonly used for coal deposits. 
Advantages Requires less overburden removal than other surface mining methods. Suitable for recovering remaining ore from previous strip mining operations. Disadvantages Limited to relatively shallow deposits. Can leave behind unstable high walls, posing safety risks. Environmental and reclamation considerations. Surface mining significantly impacts the environment, but reclamation efforts aim to mitigate these effects. Reclamation involves Reshaping the land to reduce erosion and improve stability. Replacing topsoil and replanting native vegetation to restore ecosystems. Monitoring water quality to prevent long-term contamination. Conclusion Each surface mining method is tailored to specific geological conditions and resource types. While surface mining offers efficient and cost-effective access to minerals, it also poses environmental challenges. A balance between economic benefits and ecological responsibility is crucial to ensure the sustainability of these practices.